All right, this is the guided practice off of page 194. It's from lesson 3-1. So I'm just going to go through a couple of these. The first one says write an integer for each situation. Number one says a deposit of $16. So I have to think about whether a deposit is a positive or negative thing. You put money in the bank, so that would be a positive 16. Remember, we don't have to write the positive. We just write 16. It's understood. Two, a loss of 11 yards. I have to think about whether the loss denotes a positive or negative. Loss means a negative 11. Three, six degrees Fahrenheit below zero. Below meaning above or, or positive or negative, but obviously below is negative, so negative six degrees Fahrenheit. Number four, what do the bars around a number remember? mean? <laughs> mean, remember? Hopefully we do remember, and we know that they mean absolute value. How far is negative nine from zero? It's nine away from zero, always expressed as a positive. This one, I have the absolute value of 18. Well, remember, always expressed as a positive, so 18 minus the absolute value of negative 10, always expressed as a positive. How far is negative 10 from zero? 10 away. So now my problem is 18 minus 10, which is eight. The absolute value of negative 11. How far is negative 11 from zero? 11 minus the absolute value of negative six, six equals five. All right, so number seven. Graph the set of integers 11, negative 5, negative 8. 11 is a positive thing. We're counting by 2, so it would be right in the middle right there. There's 11. Negative 5. Negative 5 would be negative 2, negative 4, negative 5 would be right there. And then negative 8. Negative 8 is in the negatives. Right there is negative 8. The ones that confuse people, though, are things like this. Negative 3.2. So I'm going to graph negative 3.2. Some people will go to negative three, which would be right here, and they'll think you go back to the right. You don't go back to the right because that'd be thinking back like we're in the positives. You'd be counting negative one, negative two, negative three, negative 3.2 would be down here. Does that make sense? So let me show you another one. Let me show you negative 6.5. Negative 6.5 does not go back to the right. Negative 6.5 is halfway over to negative, point, to negative seven. So we'd be at negative 6.5.